Hello ladies and gentlemen, Kava Sewer here. Uh, uh, just want to let you know that this video is in two parts, so I'm going to upload two different parts. Uh, it, it, I got obscenely long um, when, I, uh, when I put this together because it's kind of a complicated thing, as you'll see, I guess. Also, I ramble, so that doesn't help. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, so it's going to be in two parts. So this is just the, I just added this at the end because uh, I can't upload more than a video that's more than 15 minutes. So if that's not enough to uh, dissuade you from watching uh, one of my uh, my video podcast reviews, uh, I don't know what is. Uh, but uh, anyways, with no further ado, we'll go into part one. And then again, there will be a part two after that. And um, bula to the hula. And uh, catch you guys around. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Kava Sewer here, coming at you from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, since I essentially ran out of kava to review over the past... Uh, uh, month, a couple of months. Um, I have kava, but just nothing new to review for you. Um, I'm going to do a comparison uh, between a traditional preparation method and a olive ball preparation method, which is the shaker. Um, I'm going to be using the kava-fied strainer bags, bag, and I'm going to be using the olive ball shaker. And the way I'm going to do this, uh, this uh, experiment comparison is uh, I'm going to um, use six tablespoons of kava, um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to prepare it in the strainer with luke, uh, lukewarm kind of room temperature water. Um, I'm going to uh, consume that kava. It's going to be the same kava both times. I'm going to use um, the uh, Bequa's Sanctuary from Kava Time, and uh, so I'm going to use six tablespoons for the strainer uh, on one day, and then I'm gonna talk about the, the effects. And, I'm, and, and then the next day I'm going to use, uh, which will be tomorrow, I'm going to use the olu ball uh, with uh, six tablespoons over, over a period of, of, of two hours. So in other words, I will consume potent kava over a period of two hours using six tablespoons prepared with the strainer and prepared with the olive oil method. Uh, the uh, purpose of this experiment is to see if there's a significant difference in the effect of the same kava using the two different methods. I think it's a pretty foolproof um, way of kind of comparing the two. Of course, it's uh, important to take into consideration the fact that when you use traditional preparation, you are um, taking more time to prepare the kava. Uh, with an olive oil, you can prepare kava in 30 seconds. With traditional prep, you know, it's going to take you more like 10 minutes and you're going to have a mess to clean up, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that being said, uh, I, I, I uh, prefer, uh, don't prefer either method really uh, in, in terms of when I'm going to drink kava. I, I, I usually go with the olive oil because it's easier, um, but the, the traditional prep, you know, always gives me what I think is a, is a stronger feeling, but that's why we're here is to see if, if it actually is a stronger feeling. Um, this is the Kavified strainer, a really good strainer. This is the, the second or third one I've had, can't remember. Um, but it, it's good because you can put the kava inside and then you can kind of like twist it and, and, and squeeze the kava through. You can hold it like that. Um, and this is also the olive ball shaker from the same company, Kavified. Uh, I, I buy up all my kava gear from them. Uh, including like hats and t-shirts uh, and stickers and shells, uh, bilos. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'll provide links for those Kavified, uh, those Kavified products at the uh, bottom of this video. This video is going to go a little long because I'm going to, you know, use both methods um, and compare them. Uh, so you know, you should know that up front. You probably already do because you've seen the bottom where it shows the length of the video. Without further ado, I'm going to get going on the traditional prep. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna take some pictures and, and some some short videos to kind of show how I'm doing it. Um, I'm not gonna walk through the whole process, but uh, yeah. So uh, see you on the flip side. So as you can see, I'm using um, heaping tablespoons, six of them. And again, this is the uh, Beckwood Sanctuary. So uh, yeah, this is kind of how I'm doing it. This uh, this bag, this strainer bag, is the perfect 
size for this um, <laughs> this pot that I make the kava in. Uh, I, don't, I don't necessarily recommend using a pot to make kava, by the way. It's just that I um, don't really have a bowl at this point. Um, more out of laziness than anything else. But yep, there it is. That's how I'm making it. I'm going to strain it. For, I'm going to uh, knead it for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to um, uh, drink it. Uh, I'm not going to give you uh, flavor impressions. I'll just give you impressions of the effects since I've uh, reviewed uh, this kava elsewhere. All right, Bula. Alright, so that was the uh, actually the last shell from the uh, the kneaded uh, hand kneaded um, Be Bequa's sanctuary using the uh, using the, the Kavified uh, Kava stra strainer. Um, and you know, uh, it's interesting because I um, I've, I've been using the olive ball shaker for so long. Uh, or so consistently, rather, that, that the like when you drink kava that's hand kneaded, it has a very different taste to it. It's um, it's 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 a little bit better. It's like like a, it's like less of a chalky kind of flavor. I, I love the olive ball because I feel like uh, you can get a really strong batch, um, rather quick quickly. Um, but uh, when you when you hand knead kava, the the resulting uh, beverage uh, grog ha has a little bit of a, of a better taste. Um, and, you know, just it's my initial impression because I've I've been drinking this stuff, the Beckwood Sanctuary, for um, you know for weeks now, um, and uh, and uh, uh, I think I've only made it with the the Alu Ball. So you know, making it with the uh, you know the, the the traditional method uh, really uh, <laughs> you know really uh, kind of a uh, had a different result and really kind of tied the room together. Um, and uh, I'm very very relaxed. Uh, it's it's a uh, the sheer amount of kava has been a a bit of a surprise because I I use six six heaping tablespoons. Uh, in the video that I made at, at the beginning, like they didn't look as big as as uh, the ones that followed, or they weren't as big as the ones that followed. But um, I used heaping tablespoons and uh, really kneaded it well. Uh, you know, took took my time with it. Waited until I didn't get that greasy feeling from the from the macas that I was squeezing, and it, it seemed dry enough to have properly extracted all of the cavaloctones. And I, I, I drink I drink the shells over a couple hours. You know these are the giant shells. I mean, you know that's that's a to scale with my head. Uh, obviously, what? Uh, <laughs> and um, I you know I, I had about four shells brimming. You know, so they're like probably 16, 18 ounce shells. And um, you know, it was just playing some video games, listening to some podcasts. You know, just taking it easy. And um, you know, it's it's a uh, I feel great. I feel really good, um, and uh, so <laughs> so tomorrow uh, I am going to um, do the same thing with the olive oil maker, the same amount of kava. Uh, the liquid the liquid amounts will be different because just the way that this thing works, um, and uh, I'm going to do it over two hours as I as I just concluded, and uh, and then I'm going to. Um, reflect on, on, on this experience, both with an empty stomach, by the way, I'm going to reflect on this experience and I'm going to tell you uh, which one gets the most out of the kava. Um, and, uh, that's going to be the, that's going to be the closing part of the, of the podcast, the video podcast, whatever you want to call this thing. And I will, I will, I will give my judgment, um, as to which method, 
uh, it has the strongest effect, tastes the best. Um, and then I'll, then I'll talk about the convenience and the, and the you know, different amount of time that it takes to prepare kava the traditional way versus all the wall method. And, uh, that's going to be, that's going to be it. So, all right. So more soon.